Have you ever wondered how to set up a 3D printer and make a space for it? Well, Bring It On Brothers here has a solution. Watch and enjoy. I bet you'll learn something. Maybe. Bring It On Brother. All right, y'all. Just got my 3D printer delivered. This is by Sobel 3D. Uh, me and my brothers have had different uh, 3D printers by Sobel. And this is a new one I'm trying out. The thing I like about it is it has two extruders. The reason I like that is that you can get a water-soluble 3D filament that will dissolve in water. And so your part prints with this nozzle and the support material is printed with this nozzle. And so after you're done, you can just use water to wash away the support material and get a perfect part. I'm gonna go show you how to set it up. And I'm guessing I'm gonna run out of space in my house. So I'm probably gonna have to build a shelf for it. So this will be contained in this video. I hope you enjoy. set up I got the filament in there I'm gonna go ahead and do a test print to see how it does I kind of got a problem don't have much space on my desk with a 3d printer I got a super small house so I don't have another place for my printer so what I'm gonna show you is how to make a shelf that can go right in the corner so for my shelf I'm gonna use this board this is from actually Ikea um, and the reason I'm putting it this high is because I have young kids that have friends and so by putting it higher they can't reach it I'm gonna cut this down so it fits perfectly between the wall and the molding on the window here, and then have it come out two feet. So there'll be a supporting board going across and then the shelf will sit on top of it. Bring it on. Let's go cut. When you cut, one, wear safety glasses. Two, and I wanna make sure the right side of the blade is on the left side of the line. So when I cut the right side of the blade, is cutting right on the line that I marked. So on this one, I'm flipping to the other side because I always like to hold on to the long side just to be safe. So I keep my hands as far away from the blade. So I gotta remember, I gotta now put the blade on the right side of the line so the left side of the blade can cut the line that I need. So, here we go. So I'm gonna cut on this. The nice thing about this saw is when I cut it, I can slide it. And this can do up to 17 inches. Since this is 23 and 5 eighths wide, I can cut half one way, flip it over and cut the other half the other way. I always want to start a cut a little bit beyond it because you can always take off more material, but you can't add any on. I'm going to start super right and work my way in until I'm on the line. You see how nice the inside is? Cardboard. But you got a nice two hard piece on the outside. Makes it pretty strong. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna screw and nail this thing up. But first, I gotta move this. Strong. Maybe some screws, glue, and anything else I might need. All right, so I'm trying to make this the most simple design of a shelf so you can do it. Measuring tape so you can make sure you put it where the height you want it. A pencil, a drill with the correct bit for the screws. It's a square head, but it's a countersink screw so I can bring it in until it's sub flush. So in the future, if I want to make it really clean, I can spackle it and paint it. Some drill bits to pre-drill the holes just to make sure I don't split any wood. 
These hold it until the glue dries. Glue is where most of the strength comes from. Now normally I'd use a stud finder, but I can't find mine. I'm just gonna knock until I reach a stud. This is actually plywood behind this, so I don't need to find a stud. I'm just gonna put them whenever I want. I want my shelf two feet of space between this and the bottom of the shelf. It's not too high that I can't reach the screen and the filament on top of my 3D print. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. I'm also gonna do it over here. I'm gonna use the level to draw the rest of the line. There you go. This fits. Very good. Just like that. Be down the middle. That's a cheap bit right there. Better go find another one. Let's round it off. I'm gonna try lefty here, see how we do. So good so far. This has a drill bit on it, but it takes a while for these threads to start engaging because it's drilling the hole. like that. So I'm going to go here, here, put the block right here. Because once that's down, this is sturdy. Oh, that's pretty strong. That's awesome. Now what you don't want to do is put too much. And then you're going to get dribbles all over, especially in this. I'm going to get all over this table if I put too much. I'm going to put a pretty good beat on this just since the wall is not perfectly flat. Come down. That. I'm going to kind of wiggle it around just to make sure the glue settled. I made this too long. I'm going to have to come in later and cut that off so it's flush with that. A little dab on there, a little dribble. Boom. Just like that. Oh, would you look at that. That doesn't look cool. I don't know what does. I can reach the screen. I can reach the filament. Kids can't get to it now. More videos to come on how to use the 3D printer um, and how to design things to 3D print. All right, I got it all set up. I'm my 3D printer, shelf set up. Oh, you can't see that, that's for the next project. And here is my desk. So if you ever need to set up a 3D printer but you need space because you got a small house, there's a way to do it. first print but you can see that it does two colors i challenged my brother mickey as he does 3d printing to make something even bigger or better bring it on brother if you like anything in this video make sure you hit subscribe and like below thank you so much I forgot my measurements inside dang it all right start over so you can make paper where'd you go